mostly the change in technology uh, is the biggest thing we're trying to take advantage of now. Um, lighter weight um, equipment to use, uh, digital technology, uh, the use of uh, LED lights for lighting stuff up, which makes everything lighter, uh, makes everything last longer. So uh, really, so in a nutshell, is to take advantage of the technology. We tr took advantage of all the newest technology that uh, we could find on stem to stern. So we went and talked to the marine engineer and got the latest specifications. So when we looked at what our needs were, that put us into the pump that we needed uh, as far as, push, as, as pushing the water uh, out of the back of the boat. That drove the engine that we had to have in it. That drove how much fuel we had to have. And when you have that much weight, then how do you displace that fuel? So that's how the boats are built today. Uh, when we want them to operate 68 inches of water on draft and then at rest in about 18 inches to 22 inches of water, then uh, that's why the boats are as big or that's why they look the way that they look today. This is a uh, brand new boat, is a Rogue River, 22 foot original inflatable with a 380 horsepower V8 motor in it. It's basically the same motor that comes out the Cadillac Escalade, except it's a Mercury's your version, a marine version. Um, it also is, a, is attached to a large volume jet drive pump, sucks water straight out of the river, shoots it out the back, gives it a nice flat undercarriage so we don't get hung up on things when we're going fast. Um, at top speed it'll do about uh, 45 or so miles an hour. At uh, in shallow water it can go anywhere from uh, 6 to 8 inches in depth, uh, minimum depth. So it goes very well in the rivers around here. Primarily what we do is we'll take uh, these boats and we'll rescue people out of the American River, out of Lake Totomas, and also out of Folsom Lake. We've had a lot of incidents where people were uh, rafting and things like that where they fall out of their boat and they just can't catch up to the, the river raft. So we'll, we'll pull up alongside of them and, and assist them and get them back in the water. Also we've had instances where um, we've had people stranded on islands and things out in the middle We have a side scan sonar, uh, with the latest touchscreen technology for uh, GPS and mapping. Uh, we have uh, a lot more lighting uh, internally in the boat on the externally on the boat, so we can see you know, our uh, night operations are greatly enhanced. Drought is uh, interesting. It the drought does not stop people from enjoying the water. It does not stop them from going to the river. So we're going to see whatever river flows we see, we, we see, and people are going to be out there in, in that. Uh, so the, the moral of the story is with less water means uh, less depth uh, in the river, and that's where these boats operate the best, is in that shallow water environment. And regionally, uh, we all have that common capability now, uh, so it's a, it's a nice enhancement uh, for the region. Dollars to fund this project comes from the federal government through California Office of Emergency Services. Uh, and then it's sent to the uh, region, uh, and the shish cap dollars are then uh, decided upon by the, uh, the folks at the region. Uh, and then we were able to put together a good package uh, over the course of time and finally get it uh, uh, funded. And that was able to make these boats uh, a reality for the Sacramento County uh, Uwasi area. Uh, further, these boats are a resource to the state of California through the uh, Mass Mutual Aid Plan as a flood evacuation boat should they ever be needed.